Hi YouTube, this is Jay McBride and today is January 9th, 2012. Um, today I had my visit, what I consider my first visit uh, with my dietitian and my psychiatrist. Um, to me, I think this kickstarts the actual process into uh, doing the weight loss surgery program. Um, you're going to see me panning off a little bit because I'm reading from notes. And I'm going to try to share with you everything that um, I went through today. Um, today, I did see a dietitian and a psychiatrist. Uh, I was supposed to also meet with my primary care physician, um, but he saw no need to meet with me since he saw me last week. Um, he basically issued me a clean bill of health. Um, and this is from all the tests that I had to get completed. Um, those tests included the blood lab. Um, I had to have an EKG done. I had to have the uh, pulmonary function test, the UGI uh, study. I think that was the swallow. Of, I did a video of a uh, barium swallow that I had to do. Um, I also had to see a pulmonologist. Uh, I think I said the PFT. Also, I had to have an ultrasound done of my gallbladder and my liver. Um, tests that are left to um, get completed on is uh, my EGD, which is scheduled for this Thursday. Um, and wish me luck on that, uh, as well as I need to have my sleep study done, which is also scheduled for the 17th of this month. Today, basically, uh, my dietitian, uh, when I met with her, she basically o uh, went over uh, a couple of sheets. I don't know if you can see this real good. Uh, forgive me, I'm still trying to learn how to use my camera but the light the lighting is bad in here um basically what i have in my hand is a three-day food uh record instruction and basically she just want me to record starting thursday thursday friday and saturday uh what my typical meal consists of um you know basically she asks me questions on how do i prepare my food do i eat breakfast um just want to know my overall routine and basically you know we found out today and you know i just recently started eating breakfast i was not a huge breakfast eater but um recently i i would say within the last three months i have you know uh included breakfast in my menu and i have noticed a difference um i noticed that when i have breakfast i'm not that hungry at lunch i put it off as a uh, poor planning I don't have any kids, so there's no excuse for me not to get up and fix me breakfast. Lazy. Um, however, you know, sometimes my husband, he is good. He get, if, if I ask him to uh, cook me breakfast or fix me breakfast, he'll get up and do it. This past weekend, I had breakfast in bed. And I won't get up and do it myself. Um, but anyway... This is, just like I say, the three-day record. And also, this book, what you see right here, is called Food Amounts Booklet. And basically, she said that, that if I didn't have any scales or any way of measuring my food, this booklet basically uh, gives, like, a certain measurement. Like, say, for instance, if I had a brownie, I don't know if you can see it. She wants me to rope that off by uh, squares, basically. I don't know how to uh, explain it. Then I have a sheet here for measuring cups. And I do have the measuring cups. I have the teaspoon, tablespoon. Um, I brought a scale and I took it back to Walmart because, to me, again, laziness. I'll be honest. I didn't want to measure my food. I figure. I can figure out what maybe three, four ounces of meat is. And turns out I don't because if I did, I wouldn't have all this weight on me. But anyway, um, so I spoke with her and she just told me to try to watch uh, my intake. And I'll also share something with y'all. What I've noticed, um, I didn't reveal my weight. But I, I consider you all family, and I know that we are all going to embrace each other and all this. But anyway, I'm going to reveal how much I weigh. My highest weight was 283 pounds. My highest reported weight. 
within the last three to four months, I have, I, you know, I told you that I've been exercising, trying to watch what I eat. I am currently down to 267 pounds. And I am noticing the difference in my clothes. I am a size 22, 20, 22. Um, I wear a size 3X uh, shirt, 3X, 2X. It depends on what it is. But like I'm, I'm starting to notice difference in my clothes. You know, some of my coworkers, family members, they tell me that they can see the difference. I'm just now starting to realize the difference, but to me, I, I've lost 15, 16 pounds before. To me, it, it, it feels like it's just water weight. I'm just waiting for the weight to come back because I've never went past 16 pounds before. So, mm, I hope I can keep it off. I promise I'm working hard, y'all. But uh, anyway, that was about the dietitian. Um, I, I did see the psychiatrist, and basically I, I did a questionnaire. I, I did two questionnaires, two questionnaires that consisted of uh, one was like 91 questions, and then I did another one for, with maybe 30, close to 30 questions, I believe. Um, the questions ranged from am I happy with myself, am I, uh, am I embarrassed, do I hide when I eat? Do I um do I feel like a failure? Do I think my butt is too big? And I found that no, I don't have enough butt. So to all you ladies trying to get rid of your butt, send it on over here to me. I love it. <laughs> um, you know, questions like that. And then when the psychiatrist actually came in and talked to me, he just basically asked me questions about, you know, my childhood. Then I have a a happy childhood. He wanted to know uh, was I an abuser as far as drugs, alcohol. Um, wanted to know did I have any stressors on the job. Uh, wanted to know what school life was like. He just asked a range of, uh, of questions, and you know we actually ended up laughing. Uh, we were uh, talking about. He ended up talking about food, and um, he was just giving me the scenario. Uh, he was basically trying to encourage me to put down the, I think you northerners call it pop. But in the south, if you can't tell by my uh, the way I talk, I'm from the south. Uh, so we call pop sodas around here. <laughs> but anyway, he gave me an example of a little 15-year-old girl who had been in the hospital. Uh, she's having uh, so many uh, health problems, but she's 15 and she weighs 300 pounds. So he was just trying to go through a typical day of what she eats and eats and drinks. And he said, uh, basically, my uh, my favorite drink is the Mountain Dew. And when I said that, he just nodded his head. And he was like, I reminded him of the little girl because that is my weakness. If you put a Mountain Dew in front of me, I'm, I'm gone. But anyway, the little girl drank 10 Mountain Dews in one day. This was basically every day. Ten Mountain Dews. And he was just saying, you know, you multiply a Mountain Dew, which is 250 calories, times ten. That's a calorie intake, and that's caloric intake, and that's not even including the food that she had uh, started to eat for the day. So, you know, he was kind of putting stuff in perspective. If he told me if I'm going to drink Mountain Dew, go to Diet Mountain Dew. Uh, with milk, I drink 2% milk. If I'm going to drink milk, mix the 1% with the 2% and eventually work my way down to skim. Try skim before, but it tastes like water. But I'm willing to try it again. Uh, what else? That was basically it. He said that it sounds like you know, I don't have any issues to him. Um, like I said, my EGD is scheduled for uh, Thursday. So, again, uh, I'm asking for prayers, y'all. I, you know, kind of nervous. I don't know what they expect. All I know is that they're going to run a tube down my throat. Uh, and they're looking to see if, I guess, my stomach is okay. The sleep study, um, 
I have never, I don't do too well when I'm not in my bed. I don't sleep good when I'm not in my bed. So I'm going to ask for maybe something for anxiety. I've been with my husband for 13 years. We've been married for two. But the entire time, I've never, since we've been together, I've never slept without him unless we were on vacation. And I don't think I'm asleep well. So I do plan on taking a sleep medicine, if that's allowed, sleep, some kind of sleep pill or some anxiety pill, so something that'll make me fall asleep real quick while I'm there. And I do plan on uh, showing you all all the wires that I'm connected to uh, while I'm there. I'm looking at the time. I'm already at 11 minutes. This is the longest video I've made. But anyway, I won't hold you uh, guys, but... Um, I'd like to thank everybody, all my subscribers, anybody that's watching. Thank you for your comments, your words of encouragement. Excuse me. Um, thank you. I, I appreciate it so much. I at at first I was scared to get on uh, YouTube and document it because I feared that somebody I knew would find me on YouTube. But at this point. It doesn't even matter. I'm doing this for me. <laughs> so if you know me, holla. <laughs> I hope everybody is having a good week. Um, I can't stay on long. I actually have uh, my step aerobics tonight. I will try to catch myself in action. Of course, I don't have a tripod. I might pull my mom to the side and tell her to catch me for a couple of minutes. I don't know. But she's into it. I'm into it. Uh, I try to at least record the class, I think, tonight. And since the beginning of the year, the class is packed. And that's good. I'm glad everybody has that mind frame to want to get healthy. Um, I do have a Facebook account. And I will post my name somewhere down here if I can on how to find me on uh, Facebook of course none of my Facebook friends know what's going on with me I only told maybe three or four of my best friends good girls that I, I consider good friends and one of my uh, my best friend is a guy cool as I don't know what and he told me he'll love me <laughs> He didn't care if I was 500 pounds or 120. He's going to love me regardless. Um, but that's all. If you have any uh, comments, questions, uh, please ask me. And thank you for watching. <laughs>